considering that I talked about E3 2013 and I dubbed Nintendo as the big all-star of the big consoles of the big three, I considered to talk about one of their biggest fighting game franchises for the for Nintendo happens to be good old Smash Brothers. Mm. Folks, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? What's going on? It's your boy, the Ultimate B Man, and we're back once again to give you guys another video about my thoughts on another upcoming game that has been announced at E3. I know all the news is already out, but it's time for B Man's opinion to talk about this game and to give his own thoughts and maybe some recommendations of his own. Um, I'm here to talk about Super Smash Brothers. Uh, I, the moment I saw and I knew that Super Smash Brothers was going to be announced at E3, it was just a matter of time before the next Smash Brothers game was going to come out. Um, my biggest hopes is that that this game, you know, just goes out with a bang. Um, it is one of the most biggest party games you know kind of it's not like the hardcore evo fighting game but it still is considered as one of the big top fighting games around and considering it's a party game a lot of people can play it but the thing is is that not a lot of hardcore gamers in you know in conjunction with other fighting games consider smash brothers as a hardcore game but then again they haven't seen some of the stuff that you know people have been posting on YouTube and whatnot. It's it, it's pretty dope. But anyways, I am super excited for the next Smash Brothers game. It uh to be brutally honest, it's about time for the next Smash Brothers game to come around. Uh, it's 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 been quite a while since we got Brawl. Um, Brawl was an, a a pretty decent. Smash Brothers game, but it kind of lacked some things. Um, one one thing's for sure that it lacked is that the the amount of characters it was huge, but it seemed like there were so many characters that were copycat clones, like Captain Falcon and Ganondorf, Marth and Ike, you know, characters like that. And um, from what I've seen in the trailers, from you know, from the previous trailers or whatnot about this new Smash Brothers Wii U, um, you know, we were getting more varieties of different type of characters with different fighting styles and a whole bunch of other things, which is something that I think the franchise really needs is a huge roster of characters that everybody can get, you know, indulged with and whatnot. Um, I, I I recently saw the upcoming three new characters that are going to be on Smash Brothers. So I recently talked. I recently saw the trailers for the first three new characters for the new Smash Brothers. First off, we got the Animal Crossing, uh, the Mayor character from the new Animal Crossing game, um, the Villager, or better yet. Um, He's got a lot of cool, unique moves. Uh, he chops down trees. He collects uh, certain attacks. Like if Mario was throwing his fireballs at you, you know, uh, the villager can collect it, take it, use it, and throw it back at Mario. And maybe he does even more damage to Mario than, uh, than Mario would do damage to him. So we don't know how it would go. But the villager looks like a uh, top key player to uh, Animal Crossing fans out there. I'm pretty sure a lot of people will be playing as him. Um, next up, we got the Wii Fit Trainer. Um, she is very unique in many ways. Uh, it's nice to see that they are putting uh, another female character on the roster. There are not too many female characters on Smash Brothers as it is. 
and um, they definitely need it. And the Wii Fit Trainer is very unique, very different in style. Um, some people have commented and said that you know they're not for sure if they're going to be playing as the Wii Fit Trainer, but they will try her out just to see how she is. But I think she's going to be a pretty good contender. I mean, she's going to be one of those character weird. Uh, combo breaking type characters those characters that you never thought that you would use the most you'd be like hmm you know kind of like who was the say like um, Omar from Smash Bros. Brawl I never thought I would use Omar you know he throws the pigments and stuff like that but you gotta think about it his pigment attacks he throws them they do damage combined with his own attacks and plus his final smash is destructive so you know we fit trainer has got to be somewhere top the line um, I don't know if she's gonna be a top tier character in Smash Brothers but I think she's gonna be a pretty good character to use now the third and final character is a character that I myself has been waiting for for a long time to hit the Smash Brothers view and I think this could be the start of something new. I don't know, but I think it needs to it needs to happen. And of course, I am talking about Mega Man. Mega Man um uh he got announced. Uh it was a pretty good damn trailer. Um everybody's fighting, beating each other up. They're showing off gameplay and then here's Mega Man sitting at the top of the pedestal. He's like I'm coming for you Mario and it's crazy you knew the moment you saw his silhouette you knew who that was he puts on the helmet and he's beating everybody up and then um, you know he, he he's getting beaten down and so Mega Man has to resort to using his uh, his uh, his uh, Mega Masters type of abilities he's got like quick man's attacks yeah I don't I don't know if he has bubble man no, he doesn't. No, Airman. That's what I was saying. Not Bubble Man. Bubble Man sucks. Um, but, you know, he's got Cut Man. He's got Claw. Uh, he's got all the moves from all the other Mega Man games. Um, I'm saying at least from 1 to 10, Mega Man 10, at least at the most. Um, not for sure if he's going to have any Mega Man X type moves, but I doubt it. Considering that they're using the more modern Mega Man 10. Mega Man rather than using Mega Man X or whatnot. I don't think he needs to be in here. Although a lot of people cry out for Mega Man X, but I don't think they really need him. But uh, with those three characters and possibly a whole lot more characters coming, um, it really pushes the envelope on Smash Brothers and it's really kind of making it a really big top contender to me. Um, as for myself, I created a, a short little list of characters that I think that Nintendo should look into to maybe grabbing. So here we go. It's your B-Man's. Not gonna say a top ten or a top five, but I'm gonna say the B-Man's wish list for Super Smash Brothers. So let's do it. Okay, first up. I got Little Mac. Little Mac for Punch Out. You telling me left jab, right jab, uppercut? I mean, this dude took on Mike Tyson and King Hippo for Pete's sake. I mean, Little Mac could be a great addition to the Nintendo roster. I mean, I mean, seriously, he he was one of the first several NES type games around that people to this very day still play. Um, I can see a lot of his moves. He can use a lot of jabs, a lot of uppercuts. I think his up B move, which is basically the, the save move, should be like a sure you can type uppercut, so he can, you know, you know, get some air. Considering he can't fly or anything like Kirby, or you know, do an insane jump like Captain Falcon or something like that. But um, I think an uppercut would be very nice, similar to maybe Mario's, but it'd be a single uppercut. Now, like, he uppercuts you and, you know, a bunch of coins come out of you or nothing like that. I don't think that should be the case, but I think he would have a very good um, basic type, you know, fighting style. 
His final smash should be um, for what I'm seeing. From what I've seen, he goes like Incredible Hulk ish, and in something in one of the uh, in one of the uh, Punch Out games. I've never played that one, but that particular one. But so far, that's how he gets. Or I think he should do like a uh, TKO punch that'll instantly knock anybody in a single row. So if you're kind of like parallel to him, he'll just come in and just do the punch and if somebody's behind him, it'll go one, two, three and you're knocked out instantly. Kind of like, you know, the old school punch out game. Um, next up on my list, I got Simon Belmont from the Castlevania series. Uh, I've played a couple of Castlevanias, but um, I never really got into the franchise, but it's a popular franchise and I think Simon Belmont would fit in this roster. Um, he's got all these types of spells, he can pull the cross, he can throw holy water at you. You know, um, kind of like similar to Arthur on uh, Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Um, kind of just basically using any types of weapons that he may have at his conjunction and depending on which uh, particular Belmont, not necessarily saying Simon, you know, it could, he could use the chain, of course he can use the whip, you know, any, any, any of the Belmonts from any of the Castlevania series would, would fit in here. Um, next up I got Eggman from Sonic the Hedgehog. I think Eggman would be a great addition if they put Sonic on Smash Brothers. They gotta put Eggman. I can see Eggman using all of his egg bots and whatnot and summoning them. He would use contraptions and traps. His final smash would consist of him using the big egg robo um, and summoning it, and it would only last for an amount of time. Um, but I think he would be a great addition to the. Uh, to the roster. Um, I've always pictured that. I think he would work. Uh, they just gotta figure out what type of move sets Eggman would have. Next up we got uh, Dixie Kong from Donkey Kong Country. Uh, a lot of people say of course Dixie Kong might get put in here. Uh, I, if, if that's the case I don't want to see Diddy Kong. I want to see Donkey Kong and Dixie Kong and if that's the case I need to take out Diddy. Diddy should possibly be maybe a final smash assist for D Dixie Kong. I don't know. I'm not for sure, but if that's the case, they're going to have just about the entire Kong family in the game. But other than that, I think she would have a pretty good move set. It just all depends on how what she can do. I mean, sure she can use a ponytail, but what else does she have? So, we'll see. Um, next up we got Miss Pac-Man, not Mr. Pac-Man. A lot of people say Mr. Pac-Man. And uh, you may be wondering to yourself, like, why be man Why do you pick Miss Pac-Man? Well, like I said before, I think Smash Brothers needs more female characters. And to be brutally honest, in some ways or another, Miss Pac-Man is slightly better than Mr. Pac-Man. I'm just saying. Um, her final smash... Or if they do put in Mr. Pac-Man, that's fine, but uh, I think Miss Pac-Man would be good. But their final smash should be consist of them turning into the classic Pac-Man. Just go woggle, 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 and everybody's turned blue and instant kills and whatnot. They just chomp them, chomp, 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 you know. Kind of like the entire level turns into a Pac-Man game board. That's just how crazy it is. And again, there should be a Pac-Man level in the game as well if they do put Pac-Man. Um, next up is the Hunter from Monster Hunter. Um, it is a Capcom game, but at the same time, Monster Hunter has been mostly gener you know, generated around uh, Nintendo with Monster Hunter Tri and the recent uh, Monster Hunter game. I think they should pick a Monster Hunter um, a complete different type of armor or something like that, a new type of armor or maybe maybe uh, Lagri Chris armor or something like that. I, I think it could work. Uh, Final Smash would probably be summoning one of the monsters and uh, the monster would you know come in and swipe everybody or something. 
Um, they would have different types of blades. It'd be a great sword, a bow, or you know, it, it all depends on what the armor is. Though you know, it'd be pretty cool. Um, next up, I got Waluigi. Um, he would be a great character for this game. I can see him throwing bombs everywhere at everybody. Um, if they're gonna put both Mario and Luigi and put Mario Wario in it, they need to have Waluigi so they can have the Mario Brothers versus the Wario Brothers. It'd be a great, great mashup. Next up, we got uh, Ooh La La from Space Channel 5. Yes, she is Sega, another Sega character added to the list. I, I haven't seen Ooh La La in a long time, and see her be put into a fighting game would be crazy. She would, her final smash would end up making everybody on the field dance. She'd be like, shoot, 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 shoot. And you know what I'm saying? And it all depends on what the character, the player would hit, like left, right, or A. You know, they would be pretty cool, very unique. Um, next up after that is Kanoa. If you guys ever play that game, you should. It's a very classic game and it's, it's very fun. It's a really good platforming game. Uh, one of Napco's old classics. I think they recently remade that game, but other than that, I don't think so. I'm not for sure. Um, after Kanoa, uh, I would ha like to have a Tekken character put in here like Haachi or Jin Kazama. Or somebody from the Tekken series should be put in this game. Uh, somebody goofy or something like that. Who knows? We might see that happen. Um, not to saying that it has to be like PlayStation All Stars Haji or anything, but I think it would be nice to see Haji go up against like a Donkey Kong or even Captain Falcon or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. And last but not least, if you want to go real classic Napco, you have to put in Dig Dug. Um, Dig Dug could be a real cool character that can really 3D, you know, really make Dig Dug pretty good. Um, his final smash would be pumping you up and blowing you away. It'd be pretty crazy. He'll have a lot of different techniques and different moves. Um, but it's all good though. And also then again, um, another bonus character that I would like to say before I get off here is uh, Bomberman. Um, Bomberman would be very nice for uh, Super Smash Brothers. Um, it would be about time for Bomberman to make it to a Smash Brothers game. I can see that happening too. Um, Final Smash making a making a huge, big bomb or something like that. Who knows? But um, that's pretty much my list of the characters that I would like to see in Smash Brothers. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please thumb up it. Also, please comment below and let me know what characters you want to see in the next Smash Brothers game, because this game ain't coming out till 2014 anyway, from what I've heard. But you know, we never know. Uh, but anyways, uh, we need to we need to let Nintendo know we want these characters. So the best way to do it is to make videos and to get them out there. So. I'm going to be one of those guys that makes a list of characters that nobody would ever see coming. But um, I like the characters on this list. I I would love to see any of these characters be put on the game in the game. And I would love to see how they fight and what their type of styles are. Hopefully we don't get a whole bunch of copycat characters because to tell you the truth, Smash Brothers does not need to be like that anymore. It needs to be unique, dynamic, and it needs to bring in more people. You never know, we might see Smash Brothers in EVO. And considering that it's going to be on the 3DS too, you're going to really sell it. If you got characters like uh, like Dig Dug and maybe Haji or the Hunter from Monster Hunter or Simon Belmont or Lil Mac, you know. But I'm thinking classic to the modern day Nintendo characters. So, But anyways guys, I'm, I'm not going to hold you up. Please, once again, let me know what you think. Um, comment below to tell me what type of characters you want to see in the next Smash Brothers and I will be coming out with more videos about other Nintendo games so please stay tuned at right here with your boy the ultimate B-Man and as always I would like to say peace out keep playing games